So welcome back. So we have seen the uh, how the functional coverage will be taken uh, for an uh, with an a triggering event. So now let us see how uh, uh, without an a triggering event how a functional coverage will be done. So I am just declaring um, uh, a cover group. So in the cover group in the previously I defined with an a, a uh, cover group it should be occur at a negative edge of the clock. Now I am not defining that. So that what all the cover point which is appeared is an uh, uh, indeterministically indeterministic period of a time it is goes on happens. So uh, with respect to that I will declare an instantiation uh, uh, which needs to be uh, considered uh, uh, with an a new declare and initiate with an SE dot group. So we will begin uh, to this. So I will collect all the conditional values. If condition occurs, then I will sample it. So I will collect all the values to this conditional values with one nanosecond delay uh, or multiple one nanosecond delays, which is repeated for 10 times. So, so that I can have 10 samples uh, at this point here. Only the difference, I am not declaring here. So as the cover point, uh, as the triggering point, so, so that I need to give a triggering point here. So that triggering point should have to give a response over here. So that is the major difference from here to there. So th that event which is occurred at this point is will be considered over here. Okay. So enabling conditions. So you can have an a conditions which puts on for uh, your um, values to be occur. So let us say cover group CG at negative edge of the clock. B convert cover point B. I will putting an if condition. So if C is equal to four, so only if uh, C is equal to four, so you collect the sample. Otherwise, you ignore it. So you don't sample it. So that's what we, we are meaning it here. So whenever C is equal to four, so you take out this. This is a conditional one. So I am enabling. So the condition I am I am taking the condition to get the sample for an A B. So it can be used in cover groups with or without triggering events. So for both the cases, I can use this conditional values. So IFF can be used on any cover point, on any cover group. So typical usage is deactivate the coverages when reset is low. So that is for an asynchronous uh, reset or without the reset considerations. We can so go for so this conditional uh, or. Uh, values that is if conditional uh, values. Automatic bins, so bit 1 is to 0 B, enum A, B, C letter, cover group with uh, this, so this is same as what we done. So what we are doing, so we are creating an a bin. So the bin is A, B, C values, A, B, C values. So I will take this four bins for an a B converter that is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and a 1, 1 and I put that for a 3 for letter convert, 1 for every possible values that is 0, 0 for A, B, uh, B for 0, 1, C for uh, 1, 0 and another one is left out uh, to that. So as I am putting an enum as an a four value data types x and z are never recorded here. So because x and z will be taken it as an over the bin value. So that is why it is not considered. So bins are like counters. So every time the cover group is triggered and the variable has certain value, the bin is incremented by one value. So it is automatically incremented by one value. So automatic bin. <coughs> so if I do not declare that bin, so I will automatically consider here I am declaring it. So cover letter, cover point within a cover letter. So if I am not declared also, so I, if I declared all my cover point will goes with an integer i, so instead of an a bit value. So then what all the values occur on a i, so will be considered for this a b c, it is grouped into an a, this a b c. So there is a maximum number, a maximum number of automatically created bins <coughs> by default 
it is an 1 0 2 4. So, that is an integer uh, maximal values. So, if the number of values of a cover point can take is above 1 0 2 4, the set of all possible values is automatically sliced. So, there are major things to be considered. In this case, 1 0 2 4 bin will be created with max int of 2, 2 to the power of 32, 0, max int of divided by 1 0 2 4 minus 1. So, max int divided by 1 0 2 4, 2 into max int, the simple one. So, how it is goes on creating? It goes on increasing, you can see there up to this point. It is just like an creating a memory uh, slice. So, how it can be uh, considered for those uh, values with an maximum int values. So, bins are the one collecting point where you can have multiple values to be collected. Uh, it is a response to values which goes on appears on those uh, values. It is possible to specify bins instead of using uh, the automatic bins. Bit 9 is to 0, so V underscore A, cover group C G, negative edge of the clock, cover point V A, bins A. So, 0 to 63, 65, the values from 0 to 63 or 65 will be considered. Bins B, 200, 201, 202 creates 3 bins. So, bins C, so 1000 to dollar, so Q, so 1000 to maximum that is 1023. So, bins D, so D is a bin which is dynamically declared between 10 to 14 and 16 to 18. So, so, that so here 5, here 3, so totally uh, sorry here 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 3, so totally create 7 bins. Bins others default everything else. So, we, we, we just explained how the bins will be created. It is an automatically you can create your own bins manually or you can create so your own bins automatically also. Let us say how what is the result it will be taken up? The A 1 bin incremented if V A is 65, so R it is between 0 to 63. If the value of V A is between these values, so then so it will be A bin will be considered. B 3 bins, so each is incremented when V A takes the value of 200, 201 and then a 202. So, C is only one bin which takes the value when the when it is incremented V A is between 1000 to 1023. So, D is 7 bins which takes in each is incremented V A takes the value of 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17 and then 18. So, others only one bin. So, incremented V A takes any value that is not covered by the other bins values. So, wildcard bins, so when you can insert the wildcard bins also whenever you want. So, which is normally a 4 state value, so, so that we can have x and z to be considered. So, let us say, so a is equal to 1 1 x x, so 1 1 x x, the x x can be hits with a 0 0, 0 1, 1 0 and a 1 1, this is the wildcard what we are putting it as. A symbol for wildcard we can use x z and an a question mark. So, x and a z will be specified, so, x is takes these values, z will be defined a 1, 0 and an a x, question mark will be defined 1, 0, x and an a z. So, let us say, see if I defined it as an 1, 1, z, z, a is equal to 1, 1, z, z, then this value will be 1, 1, 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 as well as 1 1 x x 1 1 0 x 1 1 1 x 1 1 x 0 1 1 x 1. Similarly, if I declared it as an a 1 1 question mark question mark then it will takes with x and a z also x and a z also all the wild card bin wild card entries can be considered ignore bins cover group cg negative edge of the clocks 
cover point VA, ignore bins IB 0, 1, 2, bins 3, <coughs> bins 4, 4 values. So, whenever the ignore bins, whenever the values occurs between 0, 1, 2, so the bins are ignored. So, we do not care about the when V A takes the values of 0, 1, 2, so which is called as an ignore bins. So, only it will be takes the value of 3 and a 4. These values are excluded from coverage, so we will not consider to cover that. The tool will not signal any lack of coverage if V underscore A never was 0, 1, 2. So, if V A never was 3, then bin 3 is uncovered, so it will not be covered, so coverage hole will be created. So, similarly, if the bin is not takes the value of 3, so then the hole will be created. So, what is the coverage value? So, you need to cover only these two. If 3 is not covered, so you have only a 50 percent coverage. So, if you are not covered 4 also, then you have a 0 percent coverage. So, if you covered both 3 and 4, so, you, 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 your V A is occurred with the value of 3 and a 4, so then you have an 100 percent coverage. That is what the coverage how you are considering it. So, can be useful for the values that the test bin should never generate. So, you, let us say, so you have an variable A which is uh, takes the value of 1 is to sorry 2 is to 0. 3 bits. So, let us say I have generated a value 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. What are the missing values here? So, I am not generated 0, 1, 0. So, let us say I am ignored this value 1, 1, 0. So, so that, so I am not generated 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1 and here 1, 0, 0. 1, 1, 0 as I ignored I will left out. So, what is the coverage ratio? So, out of 7, I covered only an a 4. So, that is 4 divided by 7. Uh, you take the ignore also 4 by 8, that is around 50 percent, right. So, this is what you need to cover. So, these are the test bench. The test bench can be generates this or cannot be generate this. Example, the test bin generates a random even numbers, all odd numbers can be defined as ignore bins, you can have that. So, ignore bins I B will be is equal to odd number values. So, that that can also be considered. Illegal bins, cover group C G, positive edge of the clock, cover point V A, illegal bins, instead of uh, ignore bins, I can have an illegal bins. So, I B 0, 1, 2, these are the illegal values. So, if V A takes the value 0, 1, 1, 2, so then I will generate an error. So, at a run time, so, so, the, so that I can have an run time error once it takes the value. So, again, so 3 and a 4 will be taken care. So, what when it will be useful? So, it will be useful that the DUT should never generate uh, these values. So, the responses what you are generated, if it is not takes these values, let us say, so, uh, I have a signal A, same signal. So, 2 is to 0. So, I am doing an priority encoder. So, 3 is to 8, uh, 8 is to 3 priority encoder. So, this is my output 2 is to 0. So, I will have only an I 7 and an I 5 will be 1. So, what is my value I 7? 1, 1, 1. So, I 5 is 1, 0, 1. So, these two occurs. Others are, if it occurs also, it is illegal. So, at that time, if it is occurs, then it will generate an um, runtime error. So, this is one simple example how I can consider to define the illegal bins. Example, if the DUT should give in output an even number, all odd numbers can be defined as illegal bins. If the odd number is encode counter, it means there is a bug in the DUT. So, we need to eliminate that bug. So, whenever uh, that occurs. So, which may not be uh, considerable uh, bug, uh, uh, but it is a runtime bug, we need to take care of to insert those values into that uh, parameters. Uh, cross coverages. So, I can have a cross 
value here uh, as already I defined it, uh, cross value on this. So, what are all the values which is occurs between A and B which can be crossed uh, to that. So, let us say, so I have an a 4 bits of A and a B cover group cover positive edge of the clock A into B cross A comma B. So, 16 cross 16 automatic bins if I am taken that is 4 cross 4 means 16 2 to the power of 4 into 2 to the power of 4 that is 16 cross 16 bins will be created one for each combination values of A and B. How many times the A was 0 and B was 0 in the same cycle? So, that is the crossed value. How many times the A is 0, B is 1 is in the same cycle is another one cross value. I am just mentioning it. So, what are all the cross values I can have? So, how many times the A, a takes a 15 and B takes a 14 in the same cycle? and 15 and 15 uh, between A and a B respectively takes the same cycle. So, in the 16 cross 16 bin will be the cross value. So, you can define your values also inside to this. So, what values you want? Uh, you can specify those values. So, which can be crossed under the cross coverage also. So, what is the total analysis? So, 16 cross 16 may be around 256. Uh, so, in that if I crossed 56 values, so the remaining 200 will be taken care. What is my cross coverage percentage in this 56? So, if I am considered only an a 10 cross coverage value, so then it will be 10 out of uh, 56. That is my total percentage which is needs to be considered. So, automatic cross bins, let us take in a simple example here. So, red, green, blue, so I am just checking the pixel colors, red, green, blue, RGB colors. So, each color will have a 4 bit size, I am just recognizing it as a 4 bit size. So, through the address of the pixels, offset of the pixels and offset of the hues. So, cover group G2, positive edge of the clock, so I will define a hue. So, which takes the pixel value, pixel view. So, that is 4 bits, that is I have a 16 bins to define that. Half set, which takes the pixel offset of a 16 bins. So, A into C cross color pixel address 3 cross 16 bins, all cross color and a hue and a half set, that is 3 into 16 into 16 bins. So, you define it. The color is this, that is a 3 color. So, for all the three colors, I can need to have a hue and a half set. So, all the values. This is the automatic cross bins which is created. So, cross coverage with an a cover point. So, this is the two variables which is declared A and a B. So, one is 32 bits and another 4 bits. So, what I am doing? So, at a positive edge of the clock, I am just mentioning what cover points I want to cover. So, I am defining an cover point for the A variable, A variable whenever it takes the value of A from 10 bits. Similarly, it should have to show a cross coverage between this cover point value and an B variable. So, that cross between, so 16, B variable is 4, 4, 4 bits, 4 bit means 2 to the power of 4 that is 16 and A will be takes only a 10 values, 0 to 10. So, so, that I can have a bin for a cross coverage is 16 cross 10. So, cross between one variable and a one cover point. So, this is the one example for an a cross coverage how it will be considered also. Specifying a bins in car cross coverage. So, I am just taken V A and a V B which is takes the V A for this many bin values and V B for this many values at positive edge of the clock. So, C will be the cross coverage between A and a B, A and a B. So, so that I am declaring a 3 bins for the cross coverage. This is simple what we have explained previously, which A 1 takes 64 bits, uh, 0 to 64, 63 
A2 takes 64 to 127, A3 takes 128 to 191, A4 takes 192 to 255 values. So, whenever VA attains that, so this will be considered for any A. B1, 0, B2, 1284, B3, 85 to 169, B4, 170 to 255. There is a cross points. So, 8 cross 8, 2 to the power of 8 cross 2 to the power of 8. So, that is uh, unit of sorry 8 cross 8 that is. So, you need to have an 16 bins 4 plus 4 16 bins. So, in that I am taking C 1 a knot of bins of A dot A 4, A dot A 4 means A inside the A, A 4 whenever this attains. So, it should be negated. C 2 bins of A dot A 2 or with bins of B dot B 2 that is a 7 cross products will be considered. So, bins of ignore the it is a illegal bins run time error ignore the bins of what are all the occurrence of A dot A 1 and B dot B 4 that is a 1 cross product which is obtained to ignore it. So, we can have multiple of this. So, you can see that. So, how and a, a, a specification is builded from normal uh, coverage to an a, a, a complex coverage uh, for the applications which is uh, to be considered. So, transaction bins, bins used to specify transaction of values from one sampling time to an a future one uh, may be considerable at different points uh, to define these values. Bins A will be equal to value 1 to value 2 counts how many times the variable had value 1 and in the following sampling time had value 2. Bins A 1, 2, 3 to 4 variable had value 1 then 3 then 4. So, bins A 1 comma 5 so which takes the value of implication value transactional value 6 to 7. So, variable had a value 1 to 5 in the next sampling time. So, the time value will be uh, the value will be 6 and a 7. The transition between 1 to 6 and an 1 to 7, similarly 1 to 5 to 6 and an 5 to 7 needs to be considered uh, in the next sampling time period. So, that is a transition bins. So, this is the simple example for a transition bins. Bins SA, SA is a variable, bins SA 4 to an a 5, 5 to an a 6. So, which takes an 8, 7, 8, 9 and a 10 value of SA which implied to 11 and a 12. So, one bin that is incremented for the following transition. So, 4, then 5 and then 6, it is a 1 bin value, 1 bit storage, 1 bin value will be stored. So, whenever 7 occurs with 11 or 8 occurs with 11, 9 followed by 11, 10 followed by 11 is considerable bin value, 7 followed by a 12, 8 followed by a 12, 9 followed by a 12 and 10 followed by a 12 is the another bin values. So, this is the transitional bins. So, how it is taken a transition from here to here and here to here. So, will be considered uh, there. This is another one example. So, there I am not declared here. So, it is a single bit variable. Here I am declaring it as an, a dynamic array. So, I am just thinking on how many bins should be there uh, I can have. So, I can have here only 1 bins. So, totally 9 bins which will be uh, created. Here only 1 bin will be taken care because it is a 1 bit value. So, here I, as I am creating a dynamic array. So, the total bins which is occurred on this condition will be considered. So, this is total 9 bins. So, this is the 1 bin, this is the 1 bin, these are all the bin values which needs to be considered uh, for this to taken up. So, wild card bins on a transition. So, wild card bins T naught will be is equal to 2 tick B rho B 0 6, 2 tick B 1 x which is incremented from 0 0 this is wild card 0 0 to 1 0 or 0 0 to 1 1. So, again 0 1 to 1 0, 0 1 to 1 1 which is occurable. 
right so it should be 1 1 okay this is the wild card bins transitional bins so these are the incrementable storage if i make it it has an a, a simple dynamic array so then it will be stores all the four at a time um, so transitional bins also supports illegal and ignore bins so you can have so illegal bins as an a bad transition so whenever this occurs i can say i can do an a transitional errors uh, runtime transitional errors so that is an illegal bins so i can ignore whenever this event occurs i will ignore the bad transition occurs so that i will not store so that pin values so i can do the repetition also in a transition bins so this is a simple example so 3 into 3 so is nothing but whenever 3 occurs followed by a 3 followed by a 3 so this is the next sample value present sample to the next sample to the next sample note we have a four consecutive time threes then the bin will receive two hits so this is the one hit this is the second hit two hits so three into three three star three two five is equivalent to three 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 that is this is occurs three times one is three then four times three then 5 times 3. So, 2 hits which will be uh, considerable. So, repetitions which is equivalent the same thing I am written here. So, 2 which is implicate to 3, 2, 3 and 1. So, once 2 goes to 3, 3 goes to 3, 3 goes to 3 and 3 goes to 1. So, 1, 2, 3 star 3 into 5 which is equivalent to 1, 2, 3 3 to 3, 3 to 3, the next sample values 1 to 3, this 4 times. Next one is the 5 times. So, you can see that this is 5 times. So, with 1 followed by 5 times these. So, dynamically Q using a Q also you can define. So, we have 1 followed by 3 star 4 dollar is equal to 2 hits every time there is a 1 followed by at least 4 times 3's, 4 times 3's if you have. So, followed by a 2's, 1 hit will be considered, 1, one bin will be considered. So, we have a go to repetition. So, this is an advanced type of repetition which is there in my functional coverage. 3 to an a 3 which is equivalent to, so any number to an a 3, 2, 3, 3, 3 which is followed. So, so many times where so is a transition of any length that does not contain any value of the 3. So, 1 to 3 to an a 3 which is to an a is equivalent to 1 unconditional 3's then 5. So, may not be limitable. So, unlimitable values can be considered. So, that is about uh, the whole uh, functional coverage. So, the major things to be remembered how you can use the bins here which specifies the cross coverage uh, uh, to an a uh, coverages. So, I am just given a simple examples on that. So, uh, you can explore it. So, using an ap application how it can be uh, taken care uh, for your uh, values. So, uh, we can go with uh, enabling uh, cover group, how you can state the cover group, how you can state the options for a cover group, how you can declare a cover group. So, inside the cover group, how you can point it out uh, the different cross points um, with an options uh, which is a goals to be limited. So, then the coverages, so which is to be considered to be defined the triggering events, what all the, how, how, how you can consider the different tri triggering events on the cover groups. So, then functional coverage, no triggering events which is needs to be considered with repeatedly. Uh, then the negative edge of the clock, so cover point with the, uh, the values, the automatic bins, uh, enum, uh, we using an uh, uh, creating an uh, bins, automatic bins. So, uh, the va value variation for the automatic bins with using an enum operator. 
So then the bins creation, so with respect to an eval value which is considered under an cover points. So how the values will be taken care for the present sample to the next samples when it occurs, how the heat will be considered. So then the wild card bins, so we can use the four state value x and z, so which needs to be considered 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and uh, 1, 1. So ignore bins and an illegal bins, ignore bins will be, uh, we do not care about that value occurrence, we, do not, we are not considering it, we are not storing it. So and also we explained how the coverage analysis will be done for uh, the value based. So and then we go for an illegal bins, so whenever these bins, these values occurs, so we will get an a runtime errors. So then the cross coverages, so how many times you can go for, for a multiple uh, values. So automatic cross bins uh, with a simple uh, pixel uh, examples I am considered with an RGB color formats. Um, cross coverages with a different values under a bin and an a cross point, cross point with an a variable will be considered. Um, specifying the bins in a cross coverage, different bins, two cross point and a two bin value, two cover point value and then a bins. So different bin appearances for those values. Transition bins, so explained the variation of the transitions, how the hit will be considered from that. So illegal, equivalency repetition, repetition, go to repetition, everything will be considered. So that is about uh, the total functional coverage. Thank you.